Wow, somebody's loaded. I'm not, actually, and that's the problem. All I have is five dollars, but there are so many things that I want to buy today. Hmm, what things do you want to buy with that money? Well, I'm hungry, so I'm planning to have a couple of slices of pizza. That would cost me five dollars. But I also feel like enjoying a Starbucks Frappuccino. That would also cost me five dollars. See my dilemma? Ah, choices, choices, but so little money. Well, the situation you're facing is called the problem of scarcity and choice. This is known as the fundamental economic problem. Well, my friends did call me fun and metal because of my choice of music. But what does scarcity mean? Is something scarce because there is a shortage of it? Or is something scarce because it is uncommon or rare? Well, first, I said fundamental, not fun and metal. Second, your understanding of scarcity is based on shortages and rarity. But that's not what scarcity means in economics. In economics, a shortage is a situation when the demand for a commodity is higher than its quantity supply at the current market price. Take for example, gold. If gold was sold at $1 per kilogram, then there would be a global shortage for gold since it's so cheap. However, if gold was priced at a million dollars per kilo, then there would not be a gold shortage since very few people could afford to buy it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I understand what shortage means in economics now. But what about scarcity? And how is it different from a shortage? Well, scarcity is a situation in which wants and needs are in excess of the resources available. Wants and needs in excess of the resource available? What does that mean? Well, let me use an example to explain. Let's say there are 20 students in your economics class, but there are only 5 economics books in your library. Out of the 20 students, 12 scored distinctions, while the other 8 have consistently failed. Now, let's say all 20 students want to borrow the books today. In this case, we can say that the group of 12 students who scored distinctions have a want for the books, whereas the eight students who are failing have a real need for it. And because there are only five books, these books are our scarce resources since the wants and needs are in excess of the resources available. Oh, so that's what scarcity means. Yes, if you had enough money to fulfill all your wants and needs, then you would not have to choose what to get. Hmm. So, teacher, what you're saying is that because I only have five dollars, I can't have the pizza and the coffee. To have one, I must give up the other. I must choose. Indeed. In your case, the five dollars is a scarce resource. The pizza is your need, while the coffee is your want. Ah. Uh. This is like when Luke Skywalker had to choose between joining the light side or the dark side in Star Wars. I want a dark coffee, but I also need a light pizza. Bit of a tortured metaphor there, but you're on the right track. But the pizza is my need and not my want because I'm hungry and therefore need the nutrition from the pizza, right? That's right. And given your scarce resource, you must make a choice between the pizza and the coffee. Hmm, so you're implying that scarcity makes choices necessary. Yes, exactly.